Hey guys, uh, I was planning on making this video sooner. The 2022 cross country race sled just came in. Uh, good looking sled. So far I'm pretty happy with it. Comes with that 1.325 Cobra. Do a quick walk around of it here. I already swapped the skis out. The Indy Red looks really good. Only complaint is sometimes it kind of looks orange in like photos and stuff, but when you see it in person, it does look red. I think it's just the lighting or something, I don't know. It's got the standard display, standard handlebar toggles, uh, new tether. Doesn't seem that bad, but I don't know. Seen better. Velocity shocks with the two inch bodies. This thing also has like a modified 600 motor. Has a lighter rotating assembly in it, I know, for like the flywheel and rotator cup. Um, skid frame has the XDR bracing in it. These shocks both have rebound on them and high and low speed compression adjustments, which is pretty cool. Comes standard with tunnel protectors from the factory. Uh, one thing it didn't come with were the side vents. Apparently I'm going to begin those in the mail soon. One thing I really do like about this sled though is there's tons of storage in it. Like just insane. I know it doesn't really matter for a race, but they've got that. And then under the seat. See, there's another compartment in there. I don't know if you can put like a heater in there or what that cable's for, but. And they have these little Easter eggs all over the sled too, I've noticed. One right there by the shock body. New headlights that look absolutely amazing. Definitely like the looks of those. Shocks over an XCR are definitely valved a lot stiffer. As you can see, there's pretty much no sag in the suspension at all whatsoever. And then if I put all my weight on it, it doesn't really drop like <laughs> at all. Uh, there is no electric start on it, which don't really need. The brakes are just absolutely massive on these new units, uh, which is really good for cross country racing. I mean, especially for those ice races, you use a lot of brakes and you put a lot of heat into them. Set this down. What else is there? Everything comes apart super easily. Got these pins. There's a connector in here for the gauge, which I don't know if I'll you can take it off with one hand. These quarter turn things are pretty nice. Sometimes they're a little bit of a pain, I've noticed, like this one right here. There's the clutches. Spare belt goes right there along with the spark plug wrench. And then for the hood, there's just this and that. And that connector underneath. And there it is without anything on it. Um, one thing they did have us do right away was change out the steering link, which I already did. Uh, I'll throw up a picture of the difference between the two, but here's the stock one. Steel has this kind of milling out in the middle of it to make it lighter. And it is a little thinner actually than the heavy duty one that they sent us.
has a 600 Liberty in it. As far as I know, the internals and everything on it are exactly the same, aside from the lighter, lighter stuff on the flywheel and stuff like that, but no big deal. Yeah, otherwise, I mean, I really like the look of, like, the eight, the new spindles. Um, the whole skid frame actually looks really, really well made as far as, like, the quality of it and everything like that. I mean, I've never had rebound adjust in the rear skid frame before, so that's kind of cool. Looking forward to messing around with that and seeing what you're capable of achieving with that. First race is December 12th, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, December 11th and 12th, Gonvick, Minnesota. I believe that's at Pine Lake, if I remember correctly. Then Okaboji, that's always a good race. As you can see, I already got the ice track done. Use Stud Boy uh, Quick Picks on this. Uh, I have exactly three eighths of an inch of poke on them. Yeah, here's what I use. Prove. And then I use the plastic backers. Save a little weight. Let's rotate weight. These things are sharp though. Oh my. Cut my hand a few times doing that. But yeah, I'm super excited to be racing for Polaris this year. This is going to be my first year racing for him. Uh, stoked about the opportunity to do so. I grew up on Polaris's. I had like a 87 Indy 488 Fanner for my first sled that I rode. Um, it was my dad's, but you know how that goes. Let's fire this thing up quick. Super bright, which I appreciate about. Yeah, I think that's about it for the sled. Getting some more parts coming in today, actually. Go ahead and check, actually, if they can. Don't appear to be. Unless the neighbors got it. They've been messing that up quite a bit. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys want some updates about... You know, just studying the tracks and all that. I mean, I can make a video on how to do this. I'm using those Stud Boy uh, Pro Pro Series backers like that, where you don't use a nut or anything on them. I've used them in the past, 
and they work incredible for stop and power. Like they're they're amazing. <laughs> Trust me, they work really good. And then I'm just using their standard Pro Series stud carbide tip. That's for terrain races, and then obviously for ice races, you use something a little sharper like this. No carbide tip, 30 degree point. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want any videos on anything else, let me know, I can make them. It takes 10 seconds. I know a lot of you guys don't get to see stuff like this. Um, Maybe you want to, when I rebuild the shocks and stuff, I'll make a video on that maybe. Have the nitrogen and everything for that. I can do that in-house. So, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.